All right, guys, so today we're going to show you how to do an effect that looks something like this. Brent, check out this awesome new hologram. Ooh, it's cold out here and brisk. I'm Bobby. And I am Brent, yep, uh-huh. And you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. All right, guys, so let's get right into this tutorial. So let's you do it. What? Saw the beginning of the video, you, you know we're, what we're doing. What are we doing? We are doing a hologram effect. The hologram effect. The hologram. <laughs> so, yes, we are doing a hologram effect. We're a fact. It's a fact that we're doing an effect about the hologram. And we're bringing back the, the one gremlin. The gremlin, yes. We, you know him, you love him. You want some more? Of him. Yes. So. You can't get enough of that gremlin. He's just like, I. I I understand why our videos have been getting less views recently. I think it's because of the lack of gremlin. Yeah, there's not as many gremlins. You know, he's kind of become, he's like part of the family now. He really is, isn't he? If we were doing some sort of early 90s sitcom, he would be in there. He would come in through the closet and smile at the camera for a second and be like, the gremlin. The gremlin, yeah. That you need really him. Does, he's, like, he's like our Steve Urkel. That kind you know? of sums up the gremlin. He's kind of our Steve Urkel, you ask yeah. me, if this is a family matter situation. You need me by my side. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> so yes, we have the gremlin back today joining us and uh, we're going to make him a hologram. Yeah. So shall we show them how to do it? Let's dive right in. Let's dive right in. I'm diving. This is uh, this is what you do post dive. You, you, you do the doggy paddle because that's apparently the only stroke I know how to do. Ah, there Ooh. you go. Thank Ooh. you, Brent. I, I can't keep diving right in. Oh man, I know. This is... You're really taking your, your life into the hands of the internet. You I know, know. I that's am. not a good place to keep it. It's kind of scary. It's a kind of a scary place. Though, you got it. Sure Listen, that. that's what friends are for. Yeah. We're a team. We got to stick together. Boom. Okay. Tutorial time. Okay. So we're gonna do this today in After Effects. Okay. Because it's a good after choice. It's pretty cool. It's a good choice. Whoa! It's cold out here and brisk. I should have brought a warmer coat. <laughs> So that's the uh, the gremlin scene that we're gonna choose right I there. I like it. We've I enjoy it. No point. So let's drag that in. We gotta get that gremlin warmer coat, guys. Go yes. to Patreon, donate a little <laughs> bit, and maybe we'll buy the grandma a nice fur coat. Yeah, that coat doesn't seem to fit him quite well. You know, it's yeah, kind of tight on. I think he went to Savers. You know, it's the best he could do at the time. So now we hear, have a video of me talking to Brent. Brent, check out this awesome new hologram. So Bobby, I see we have some clips in here now. Um, what do we do next? Okay, so the clips are in and we're going to first green screen our gremlin. Sounds like a good place to start. Yes. So let's do that. We have a video tutorial on how to do a green screen. Uh, card up there, check that out. It's a great tutorial. And uh, not to toot our own horns, but you'll learn how to do green screen pretty well from that tutorial. Yeah, I think you'll be yeah. pretty good at it yeah, by the time you're done. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. After that short break, we're that here. Green screen break. And the green screen is done. So nice. we have our gremlin green screened. So cool. Yep, we've got all our effects over here. Yep. And uh, let's get right into the hologram effect. All right. So one thing that we've done here to help us with our motion tracking is we've added a small dot on my arm. You can see it right here. Boom. And uh, that's going to be our source for motion tracking. And cool. basically, we have another tutorial that you can check out for motion tracking. Yep. We're just gonna do that real quick, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so we just did our motion tracking, and awesome. we tracked our null object. Cool. So our null object is now, you can see, tracked to. Oh yeah, you can see those little squares there, those little red squares. Oh yeah, see, there it goes. Tracking to my arm, right on the dot that we Sick. put there. Nice. That's pretty cool. All right. So now we're going to uh, label our layers here so we know exactly what's going on. Cool. So we're going to rename this Gremlin. Gremlin. Hee <laughs> 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 so, I love how more, more and more prolonged the Gremlin hee hees get. <laughs> and okay. Let's label this one uh, Bobby. Bobby. So. Cool. We have Bobby, Gremlin, and Null. And okay. we're going to parent our Gremlin to our Null object, which cool. is already motion tracked. So now the Gremlin will be motion tracked as well. So yeah, you can see how it moves with Bobby's arm there. That's, if you do it slowly there, you see how he kind of goes up and down like that? That's how he's motion tracked to it. 
So super, now we just gotta put the gremlins in the Super right convenient place. effects to use when you want a particular object to stay moving with a particular thing, so. Definitely. And a huge time saver. Keyframing it by hand would take forever, so. So that's. Definitely check out that motion tracking a good uh, tutorial. tutorial. Yeah, it's yeah. a great tutorial up there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our gremlin is exactly where we want it to be for the hologram. Okay. And I think we're gonna wanna cut off uh, the gremlin's legs here so that it, it makes it look like it's a hologram that's coming out of the arm. Sure, okay, I can get down with that. So let's move around our mask here and we'll kind of shift it to, to fit the arm here. Okay. So we'll kind of shape it a little bit better. All right. And then we are going to go up here and if you hold down on our pen tool, you can drag down to the mask feather tool and select a node and drag it down. Oh, okay, yeah, I see what's happening there. That's pretty cool. So that, yeah, that creates this kind of like- It gives it that little fade. bit of fade because you know, it's a hologram. It's not gonna just like be like perfectly hard edge, just cut out. It wanted to have that fadey action. So it kind of seems like it's right. fading up from your arm. I think right now it is, uh, we're gonna need to drag the gremlin yeah, over Yeah, it's starting more. a little too early. We want to. Wait, it shouldn't start until Bobby presses the button that's on his uh, wrist there. So. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's go over here, and right when I press the button, we'll have the gremlin appear. So we'll drag right here, and... Boom, right around, right there. around there. Cool. So now we need the gremlin to appear. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Mm -hmm. so you can make the hologram scale up or position up. But we're gonna do it uh, by using transparency. Okay. So if we go on our gremlin layer and hit our T key on the keyboard and select the little stopwatch button. Now we got ourselves a nice keyframe there. Keyframe. We'll go back and we will go to opacity zero. So now the gremlin sort of just appears in a bit more of a hologrammy type, you know fade up. Yeah, I like it. Now, there's a few different ways that we can make it sort of glitch around. So if we zoom in here, we can copy these two keyframes and paste them and maybe move them close together. So we can sort of make the gremlin glitch a sort little bit. flicker in. Flicker in. Bit of a little bit of flicker effect. You can do that Ooh, in a lot yeah, of different that, ways, but yeah, I that's that pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. That actually gives it a nice little little something something. Yeah, it looks like a hologram, like doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it's just oh. kind of b bursting into power. It takes yeah. a second to kind of get full, fully engaged. It's I almost like it. there. I like it too, I think that's cool. So now the next step is basically making it look more like a hologram. Yeah, because right now it just looks like um, the gremlin's just kind of hanging out there. Yeah, he's just chilling on my arm. So one way that we can start to do that is by going into our effects and presets and searching Lumetri color. Cool and we'll drag that onto the gremlin himself. Our good old friend Lumetri color. So if we go into our RGB curves and select blue, we can make the gremlin a little bit more of a bluish tint. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. And as, as you know, if you watch sci-fi movies, mm -hmm. most holograms are like a bluish color. Yeah, you gotta have that blue light projection feel to it. Yeah. Princess Leia is telling us how we're her only hope right now. Yes, it feels exactly like yeah. that. So we're gonna take down some of our reds too. Oh yeah, there we go. And that'll make it even more blue. Now we need our hologram to be see-through. Okay. And the way we can do that is by going down to our blend mode here. And we can try out some different layers. So we're gonna go with linear light as mm -hmm. our a blend mode here. Okay, cool. And I think that's looking really cool. You can see through the hologram but you can also still make out very clearly what you're looking at. So yeah. maybe we want to add some sort of like grain or something like that to this. Ooh, to like kinda, a noise. Mm, some sort of noise effect. We're gonna go into our effects and presets and search noise. All right. And we'll drag our noise effect onto our gremlin here. And we'll just bump it up to yeah. about that. So that's looking really, really Oh yeah, there we go. So okay. I'd like to add I'm a beam myself. effect so that it looks like there's a beam going down oh on the my hologram. God. A little tape yeah. distortion almost. A tape distortion. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So we can do that. Oh, doggy. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our gremlin. Okay. And we're gonna command or control D. Okay. Our gremlin here. And that creates kind of a weird looking. Yeah, thing we're going duplicated on. right now, so they're stacked on top of each other. So. So we're going to go down to our blend mode. We're gonna yeah. change it to our screen okay. blend mode here. And we're gonna go back up to our elementary color. 
and we're gonna raise our exposure. And I think we're also gonna wanna go down and turn up our, our noise just a little bit more. Sure. Okay, so now let's add the tape distortion. Yeah, so the I wanna way, see it. The way that we're gonna do that is by going to our layers here, make sure that we are not selected on anything and we'll create a new shape layer. Sure. Just like that. And we're going to add a little bit of a fast blur to this so that we can kind of blur the edges. So we'll zoom in here and you wanna make sure that the edges are just slightly blurred. So now we're going to drag this layer right above our Gremlin 2. And we're gonna to go to our track mat and alpha mat it to shape layer one. Okay. So now wherever we move the shape layer, oh, ho, ho. that will create a mask. That looks great. What we're going to do is we're gonna basically set this through a loop, but we're gonna make the loop ourselves. Loop it up. So we're gonna to go to our shape layer and hit our P key in the keyboard. And starting when the gremlin comes in, we're gonna zoom way in here. Oh yeah, frame by frame. And we're gonna hit our position keyframe and we're gonna drag this down to the bottom here. And we'll see how long that is. If it's too short, we'll try it again. That's, I think that's too quick. It's a little fast. Let's, we, can, we can drag this out a little bit. Let's drag it a little bit, make it go a little slower. Yeah, there it is. There we go. That looks so good. So it's, it's moving through. It's moving and grooving. So now we are going to take our keyframes, control C, copy, and we'll move one keyframe ahead and then paste it. And we will keep doing that. So we're basically creating our own little loop here. So there we go, we've got it repeating four times. Yeah, I think I like that's it. looking really good. Let's lower our transparency yeah. just a little bit. This is gosh. I think that's a successful hologram right there. Well, Brent, you will be wrong because there's one more thing we can do. No, we can't do any more, Bobby. There's one more thing. <sighs> okay. Let's make that hologram right. glow. I'll go, I'll go on the ride with you. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna go into our effects presets and we're gonna search glow. And mm -hmm. under stylize, you have a glow effect. And we're gonna drag that to our original underlaying gremlin here. All right. So that creates this bizarre looking glow here. Mm. I don't like it. How I bizarre? I don't like it at all. All right, what can we do? So I'm gonna drag the glow above our noise and our fast blur effects because in After Effects, effects are layered. Right. And we wanna make sure that they're layered in the right way. Okay. So we dragged it here. Now let's bump up our radius a little bit and we will maybe lower our intensity and our threshold. Okay. It's kind of subtle what's happening here, but it gives it, there's like, almost like a light permeating off of you. Yeah. Which get, makes it, you gets rid of those harder edges. So I, I'm liking it. Okay. I'm liking it too. I was skeptical, but I'm, I'm down. I'm down to clown. Awesome. So, so the glow is on, and I think that is the end of our hologram effect. So let's it, check let's, that out. Let's look at it. Brent, check out this awesome new hologram. Nice. I think we did it, Bobby. I think we did too. It's looking awesome, Brent. Awesome. We did another successful learning. Yes. High five. High fives all around. Audience. Awesome. Thank you for watching this episode of Learning. This we is got a good a long one. end plate today. It's a long one, but a good one. Check out our other videos. Hit that like button. Smash it. Subscribe, baby. Check out our Patreon page. Yeah, if you're interested, we have a bunch of exclusive Patreon-only stuff that you can only get if you become a Patreon. As little as one dollar a month. Wait, that's nothing. That's like not even a coffee. You can't get a coffee that's for a dollar. That's how much I spend to vacuum my car. Yeah, exactly. For the price of vacuuming out your dirty, old, nasty car, you could see a bunch of exclusive Patreon content. And if you have a Tesla. <laughs> Yeah. You don't need to vacuum your car. Yeah. It probably vacuums itself. It vacuums itself. itself. There's a Roomba that comes out of the trunk and vacuums it for you. It's mm. pretty cool. Our Nick over here, he's starving. He's been sitting in the background the entire time during hey, this Nick. episode. Hi, yeah. Nick. Say hi to Nick, guys. Say hi, Nick. He's working on top secret stuff that we can't talk about, but you know, someday you'll, you'll learn his project. Don't show that screen. Don't show it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been fun. I'm Brent. I'm Bobby. And you're watching Bizarro Land. <laughs> <laughs>
Haven't you guys learned how to green screen by now already? Do we even need to explain this? I know. If like, you haven't been paying attention at this point, you should just get the heck out. Yeah, guys. Just get out! What are you doing here? Get it! Leave, guys. Get it! Please, please turn it down. I'm so tired. created that character? I'm so tired. It's you too loud. Yeah, yeah, just now, I guess. Oh, wow, I like that character. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Turn down on the noise. Oh, you should give this guy a name. Yeah, what we could call him. Dinkleberg. Dinkleberg. Just like a fairly odd parent. Like, Brett doesn't know what I'm talking Dinkleberg. about. Dinkleberg. Yeah, I know, I was a little too old. Dinkleberg. 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 Yeah.